Welcome to Electra Online. Now you may have wondered how efficient can a heat engine be? And it turns out that Carnot actually figured that out. He said, based upon his calculations, and we'll show that in a later video how that was done, the efficiency that can be reached, the maximum efficiency of a heat engine depends upon the temperature of the heat drawing into the engine and the temperature of the heat coming out of the engine. So the idea is to increase this as much as possible and to decrease this as much as possible. And the equation then becomes that the efficiency of a Carnot engine, that's what it's called. Now a Carnot engine is not a real engine. It's an engine on paper, for example. It's just a theoretical engine. We want to build engines as close as possible to that theoretical capability. And that is for one reason why diesel engines run more efficiently than gasoline engines because they run at higher temperatures and so in the light of Carnot's uh, discovery higher temperatures mean higher efficiency. So simply the efficiency is the difference between the temperature of the heat coming in and the temperature of the heat going out and divide that by the, the, the temperature of the heat coming in or the, the, the the energy coming in. And so when we divide the denominator into the numerator, we can write it like this. Now obviously you take a look at this fraction, the efficiency would be 1 if T cold was 0. If the temperature of the exhaust gas was 0 Kelvin, you'd have a 100% efficient engine, which of course is impossible. You can't get down to 0 Kelvin in the, with the exhaust temperature, but if you could, the efficiency would be 100. Obviously you want this to be as small as possible so that you subtract the smallest number possible from 1 to get the efficiency. Now in an example here, notice if the temperature of the, of the air coming in is 500 Kelvin and the exhaust going out is 300 Kelvin, we can calculate what the maximum efficiency will be of an engine like that. So here this is equal to 1 minus, uh, that would be uh, 300 Kelvin divided by 500 Kelvin which is equal to 1 minus 0 0.6, which is 0 0.4 or 40 percent. So in that case you can see that, oh, that's a terrible looking 4, let me try that again. There we go, a little better. So there you can see that the maximum efficiency under those temperatures would be 40 percent. You want better efficiency, then you need to drive the temperature up here or lower the temperature there. Turns out that in cars today, the exhaust is relatively cool, so they've engineered a lot into the engines to make the exhaust temperatures as small as possible. Back in the old days when I was a, a kid, cars, when you try to put your hand behind the tailpipe of a car, you actually burn your hand because the temperature of the exhaust would be so high, and therefore those cars were a lot less efficient. And that is how it's done.